Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I've got an exciting video where we're going to be fishing with homemade poles. So the idea behind this video came because when I wanted to plant the tomatoes, typically you would use something like this tomato cage right here. But because we were very limited on space here in the garden, I went and I cut some river cane to use to stake the tomatoes and the idea came because after cutting that I was like hey why don't I just fish with it make a video out of that okay so I've actually picked one out here and it is real tall and it should make a nice fishing pole just got a simple camp saw here and we're gonna all right that is a big old piece of bamboo and it should make for a perfect fishing rod I kind of feel like an idiot walking down the street with this thing. Like, I just feel like an idiot. Okay, so this right here is what I originally planned to make the video with. And uh, I got that from a different spot. And then this is what I just harvested. Like, this thing is, it's a pretty decent, like I could, I could, I could honestly fish with this. Like, this thing is an absolute unit. This is you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Okay, so this right here is the smaller cane pole. And I just uh, put a hook on it. And so, I'm pretty sure I know how I want to do this now. So, here's what you need. A knife. A hook some fishing line, a rubber band, and this is optional right here, is this little eyelet screw and a drill. So how we're gonna start it off is to split the wood into four sections right at the end. And then I already cut so a length of fishing line that I wanted. And I'm gonna run that through the split of the wood kind of like that and do that just a few times. Okay, and once you've got that, take your rubber band. Oops, I just broke my rubber band. I just got a new rubber band, so you kind of get it up like that and then put it over this. The idea is, is that where it's split, it's going to like like pretend that this is the fishing line and this is where it's split and then we put the rubber band over it and it's gonna pinch it in there. And uh, so hopefully this will work. All right, now we're gonna rig up the uh, hook with just a very simple knot. So now you've got the hook and line on the cane pole. Now stretch the hook down the cane pole until it's at where you this is this is this is optional by the way. So the hook is down here and that's about as far as it goes. So I'm gonna take my knife 
make a tiny little mark there. And then drill through it. Now, this little eyelet screw, just twist it in. Now, you've got a cane pole where you can put the hook right there, and I think it's ready to fish. So today is the day that we are going to be fishing, and before we go fishing, I wanted to give you all a little update on the plants. So here they are. The cucumbers are absolutely killing the game. Basil is killing it. But the tomatoes, we only have one little uh, sprout. And so that is why I got, there were a few people in my neighborhood that, uh, bought too many tomato plants and they didn't plant them all so here's what I got this right here is a big boy tomato we're gonna be planting three of those because this one right here isn't looking so hot and then right here is some bell peppers and then this right here is actually some sweet peppers and also today, I'm going to be planting some mint, rosemary, and oregano. But we aren't going to be planting the uh, herbs in the box that I built. We are going to be planting them in this pallet thing made for herbs. And we built that when I was like five years old or something so now we're gonna go and get these tomatoes planted Okay, so we got them planted. Here we have tomatoes. That's sweet pepper. And then here we have, yeah, this is the bell pepper. And I left space for me to plant the cucumber right there. But I just realized that I'm, don't, I'm missing two steaks. So I am going to go get those right now. These two look decent. All right, so I am currently watering in my plants because I've seen what happens when you don't water them in. It turns out bad. So by next week, I should be able to plant my cucumbers. And I'm only gonna plant two of them because they require more space than tomatoes do. Alright, so we're about to plant all of these over in that thing, and we also got these flowers to make it look pretty. in make sure that they have plenty of water because 
they need it after being transplanted. There's a deer in my neighbor's backyard. Oh, there he is. He's just vibing. But uh, we're gonna leave him alone now and go fishing. We're gonna get a start off with the little one. We're out here at the pond and I brought crickets, but also I found a worm in my backyard earlier today, so I'm gonna start off fishing with that. Here's, all right, here's the worm, still alive. I was afraid that he might have died, but here he is. We're gonna try and switch to the bigger one. All right, we got ourselves a little Jiminy here. We're gonna try a little more over this way. First fish of the day right there. It's a pretty good sized one. Oops, pretty nice color too. There he is. We're just gonna lightly toss him back in the water. Will you just bait my hook real quick? That's all I want. All right, Riley, you come here and hold this for a second. Oh, somebody just hit it. <laughs> 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 All right, second fish of the day. Caught on the bamboo. All right, I didn't catch this one on camera, but there's fish number three. He's just a tiny little guy. Wait, I'm just gonna light toss. I'm switching back to the smaller one for a second. I'm going to try and cast right under this dock and catch a perch. All right, I was just on the other side of the dock and I caught that one. That's uh, panfish number four, I think. Fish number five just flipping under the dock with some crickets. Number six, but still no perch. Seven, I think. I've kind of lost count. But uh, when I got them on, I lost my footing and fell off the dock. So, uh... That's number seven, I guess. Hey, thank you for watching my new video and thank you especially for making it all the way to the end. Now I understand that this isn't normal quality that you would expect from a fishing YouTube video, but once I get my GoPro in, that should certainly change.